guys welcome back to my channel today I'm doing my five favorites in five minutes video for October so let's just just get straight into the video and as you can probably already tell I'm not wearing any makeup because it has been so hot and I have mowed the lawn and exercised this morning and I just don't feel like putting anything on and I really needed to film so let's just get straight into the video so the first thing I've got is a body product um, and I'm not sure if this is a new product or not um, but I've only just recently seen this in my local Priceline store and it's the Swiss uh, sea salt body polish now this has got lemon myrtle and coconut shell in it so the coconut shell is the exfoliating part it's really nice and gentle exfoliating um, and then the lemon smell is just so beautiful now it's not a creamy type of poly body polish it's more a um, an oily based one so when you get out of the shower after you use this your skin does feel really nice and moisturized it doesn't feel like it's stripped any moisture out of your skin I'm absolutely loving this I'm using this maybe two or three times a week um, and I don't find it's too you know harsh on my skin either so yeah I've absolutely been loving this and the lemon smell is just divine the other skincare type product that I've got is the Garnier um, micellar cleansing water in oil um, as you can see it's the oil and the water mix or the cleansing water I guess so you just gotta shake it up really good before you're about to use it so that it all mixes together I found that this has been really amazing at breaking down any of um, my makeup products especially like um, really like heavy-duty mascara or eyeliner that kind of thing um, it does say that you don't actually need to rinse this off afterwards but I do tend to do fit it does leave a little bit of an oily residue on my skin so I just sort of use this in my removing makeup steps before actually cleansing my skin at night time so yeah I'm absolutely loving this product uh, the next product is a makeup product and it's a new eyeshadow palette um, you would have seen on Instagram if you follow me on Instagram that I managed to be able to pick this up and it's the Ciate Chloe Morello haul so this is the eyeshadow palette um, unfortunately I think it is now restocked it did go out of stock pretty damn fast um, but the colors in this are just so beautiful We've got some beautiful warm tones in here which is you know just up Chloe's alley and my alley as well there's a beautiful mix of mattes and shimmers so the palette has got nine matte shadows and six shimmers and I really like that they've put in more matte shades than shimmers and um, I do find that a couple of the shimmers do have a little bit of fallout but I've just been wetting my brush beforehand with just a little bit of like water or setting spray and it is just absolutely beautiful the colors are just amazing I'm really really happy with this palette so let me know if you wanted me to do like a swatch video or an eyeshadow makeup tutorial with this palette okay so the next product I've got is a La Roche Pose BB cream so this is a melting cream so this is in number two so there is only two shades so like this is the medium shade the shade is a much lighter shade and this one isn't too dark either especially now that I am a little bit more tan from getting a little bit more Sun as well but La Roche Pose are absolutely well known for their skincare products and I just thought I'd try a BB cream that had a lot of skincare um, sort of in the mix of it and it's a really nice light formula on the skin um, hasn't broken me out it's SPF 50 plus so you've got that extra bit of protection as well um, I can't say better things about this product it is really really nice um, and you can just whack it on like a moisturizer as well so really really beautiful and the last product I've sort of been using in conjunction with that particular BB cream because it is a little bit lighter for me at the moment and that is the Astralis Matchmaker Shade Adjusting Drops. Now this is in the darkening and I do also have the lightening ones as well. I haven't used these ones yet because I haven't had a need to use them yet but if they're anything like as good as what the darkening ones are I'm going to be really impressed. Um, they come in it comes in like a dropper type application you need the tiniest amount I'll give you the tip like I literally put like this out and put like a dot of it on my skin and then I go in with like a q-tip and take away half of that um, and that seems to be the perfect amount um, just to deepen up that particular BB cream and I'm really looking forward to testing it out with a few other foundations that I've got that are just a touch too light for me um, but this yeah if you've got issues with 
finding a foundation that can match you or something that's maybe a little bit too pink toned um, yeah definitely can you know add these to and custom make your own now with the um, the lightning ones I actually thought that they were going to be quite sort of pink toned that sort of whitey pink tone but this is like pure white so yeah I'm really impressed and they are so pigmented so yeah definitely go and think about picking these up so if you've got some foundations that don't quite match then definitely think about going and picking these up um, I do see that lots of brands are coming out with these and in my professional kit I have the face atelier ones um, they do tend to be a little bit more on um, the maybe cooler side for this but actually you know I should swatch them and see you know what the difference is these are $20 each um, so the day that I actually picked these up in Priceline, they had three products for the price of two. So I basically got a, um, what did I get? A blush for free. So yeah, I was really happy with that. And I'm really, really impressed with how amazingly well these work. So yeah, that's my five faves in five minutes. I hope it's in five minutes. I'm pretty sure it should be. Um, if not, I'm going to have to edit my talking out, aren't I? So thanks for watching my video, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe, it's free and it means that you'll get all my videos coming into your um, subscription box straight away so you don't need to go searching for me. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.